Matt Patricia sticks to a script after losses. Coach better, play better, be more consistent. The trouble is we hear that script way too much because the Lions have lost way too much under his guidance. Sunday, a quarterback who played last in the XFL torched Patricia's defense. The Lions are 13-28-1 in his three years in Detroit. Even when they made good plays, like the trick play that led to a score, the Lions, after making this look so pretty, were penalized. The touchdown got called back, and the Lions ultimately punted on the possession. They only had three plays in the red zone. This is a script I don't really need to lay out for many of you, because the trouble is, if you live in Michigan, we've watched the same story unfold under really any coach's guidance. Patricia today asked what he's been told about his job security with the Lions. Uh, you know, I mean, look, our focus right now is on Houston. Um, you know, any conversations that I've had uh, with ownership, I always keep those private. Uh, you guys know that. So uh, from that standpoint, uh, we're just got a quick turnaround here, trying to get ready for Houston. You, you understand why the questions are, are coming up, though, at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, there's questions that come up every week. I try to do the best I can to answer them. So, you know, right now it's, it's about Houston. So many of us tried to ask Patricia similar questions today. He didn't break from his the focus is on this week message. The Lions have a tight turnaround getting to Thursday's game, but at four and six in last place again, the script seems all but written for Matt Patricia and likely Bob Quinn in Detroit. Brian, Glenda? Yeah, same story, different coach, as you pointed out, Brad. We're very familiar. Hopefully we don't hear that script one more time on Thanksgiving.